Hi there everybody, it's Jo here and I hope that wherever you are, that you're safe and well. In this week's video it's a little bit different, purely because some of us have already been back to school, and that's worldwide even, and some of us are due back to go to school early next week. So in this week's video I just want to briefly remind you about what mental health is, and I also want to let you know that even though I'm a counsellor, a trainer, family support worker, I write blogs, that actually the most important thing is I'm human. I too have feelings and that I want to, to kind of let you in on five, five things that I do to, to look after me. Because for me to be a good wife, good mum, good friend, a good counsellor even, I have to look after me and, and do these things for me to be the best version of me. So just to remind you about your mental health is I always use a bendy ruler and if you can imagine that this bendy ruler represents your mental health because if we're brutally honest we're going to have days where it's going to stretch us and for some people if we carry on having those days that as you can imagine can lead to things such as depression and anxiety. So it's important that we look after ourselves to just keep this flexible. Now, the biggest thing with mental health is if we don't do these steps to look after ourselves, what will eventually happen is this will snap. And that's, as I said, the depression and the anxiety. So with regards to my mental health and to make sure that I'm here, knowing that I have bad days too, don't get me wrong, you know, lockdown was hard some days. But for me and my five steps, my first one is my support network. I rely heavily on my support network and my friends, I don't have necessarily many of them, but I have good quality friendships. And each of those friends I go to for different things because sometimes I think that we can sometimes worry that, oh, I'm going to them again for another problem. Oh, I'm going to talk to them about something and what are they going to think of me? So actually it's quite handy to have different friends for different things and also my friends have got different experiences that they're able to help me or comfort me. So my friends um, and my family really help me, just allow me to, to sometimes offload. There's this saying that a problem shared is a problem halved and that really is true for some things. As you know, I include the helpline and support that you have in the comment box below, description box below. Um, I've also been encouraged by quite a few people um, to include support networks worldwide. So this week you'll notice from now on that there's also other support available worldwide. My second step is that I enjoy reading. I enjoy sometimes reading a trashy mag, I enjoy reading a book and I also enjoy learning and I think for me the most important thing is that sometimes that the reading allows me to escape but also the learning just allows me to keep my mind occupied sometimes. My third step is quite an important one actually and it's exercise. Now it's important to mention that with exercise it's not necessarily about looking good it's about feeling good and you're going to need to find what exercise works for you. It could be walking, dancing, golf, swimming, whatever it is, it's different for each and every one of us. For me personally, I enjoy running and going to the gym. And when I can't go to the gym, just like some of you won't be able to because of your age, there's these workouts on YouTube. There's yoga on YouTube and things like that. So. It's just finding out what works best for you. For me, it allows me to just totally escape from me being me, to get away and to sometimes just press the reset button and to think about it. But the most important thing sometimes is that when we are feeling sad and down, is it allows us to completely change and shift our focus from that particular feeling, as well as endorphins and things like that that kick in when we're exercising even though we don't believe it at the time. My fourth one is, is quite important again, and for me, it's I like to be organised. Yes, I like to have a to-do list, but actually, I like to have what I've achieved list as well. 
because sometimes that to-do list can just get longer and longer and longer. So it's important to have that list that will make me realise what I have achieved. Being organised for me allows me to feel a sense of, of, of knowing that I can control what I can control. And for me, that might be packing my bag the night before, doing my lunch the night before, getting my outfit ready the night before. And like I've said before, if we're always going to be ready, then we're never going to have to get ready and fluster on that particular time. So that's quite important for me. And then my fifth step is, is quite an important one, and it's about gratitude. The happiest of people don't have the best of everything. The happiest of people make the best of everything. And for me, having an attitude which is of gratitude allows me to focus on how lucky I am with the things that I've got. We will always want more sometimes. We will always want the latest phone, better grades, the latest console, you know, a more amazing wardrobe, better holidays, hence the travel. I love traveling. Um, but actually, it's really important to think about what we do have in life and to be, to be grateful for that. So every night before I go to bed, I think of at least one thing that I'm grateful for, or it might be one great thing that's happened that day. I also like journaling. Journaling can be a bit time consuming, so sometimes what I do recommend to, to my kids is that you can get like these pocket diaries, but what I'd recommend is that with a pocket diary, it's, it's great because it's literally just a sentence because that's all you can fit. But what I'd want you to do if you was to start this is to think about something good, something that you're grateful for that's happened that day. It doesn't have to be school focused. It doesn't have to be about friendships. It can be about anything. It could be just tidying my room, just something that you've achieved, grateful for, that a memory created. It's only about positive things. If you've got nothing positive to write down, then you don't write anything at all. Because eventually what will happen is that eventually you'll flip through this and it will remind you of the good times and remind you of that gratitude that you have. So yeah, they're my five steps to help me be the best version of me. If you can, let me know in the description, no, comment box, I'm getting muddled in the comment box below about what works for you and the form of self-care that you do to be the best version of you. And just think about with self-care, because some people think that it's selfish, it's not, but just think about what stops you from doing it sometimes. What stops you from doing it? Because sometimes when we become aware of it, we can almost challenge it sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Next week's video is gonna be about how we're back at school. Some of us, I think, from what I've experienced this week at school, might be feeling as if we're too far behind, that what's the point? Just worrying about getting back into the new normal at school. So that's next week's video. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. You take care, and I look forward to doing a video next week. See you later, everybody. Bye.